I have to bend all the way around. Happy Thursday. I hope you're having a good week. It's a short week, so I think everyone's trying to cram things in together. And I know this chair squeaks. Um, school's out, so a lot of you are on a different schedule. Um, I have a confession to make that my wife knows about. Um, and that is Friday night, late afternoon, I have my first very first visit to an eye doctor ever. Um, at my age, I have never ever been um, to an optometrist or an um, ophthalmologist. I've always had really good vision. I've always been able to read things from a distance and then not have any problems with up close stuff. And I was the typical annoying teenager that when I wrote stuff down, I wrote like an um, font, font point zero zero three or something like that. I mean, just wrote microfiche type stuff. But in the past several years, I've had to at least get readers to be able to read stuff up close. Um, and this drives Janet crazy, and she's hoping to get an answer for this. When we're sitting at home and watching TV, the TV is actually clearer with my readers on than they are just watching it. And I realize that my distance vision is starting to go a, a little bit also. So Janet wants to know why readers work um, with the TV. But one of the things I realize, and you will probably see this over the next, in the next several weeks, is I'm gonna end up having to get glasses. So it's no big deal, I'm super fine with them. I just want them to be comfortable. Um, but when I was kind of looking into what the different issues could be, I, I realized there are a lot of things that can affect your vision. You can have misshapen cornea, which is, you know, the outside covering of your eye that distorts how things look. As you get older, um, you just have a degeneration in your eyes and you can't see as clearly. Your, your lenses, which is the little piece behind the opening, the uh, pupil of your eye, can get cloudy, um, and you just have cataract surgery. Um, you can have glaucoma, which is in the back of the eye. For my whole life, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get weird right now, I have had what are called floaters, which are little pieces of detached retina that are floating around inside my eye, and I can kind of like vaguely stare up into space and turn my eye, and I can see these things kind of like float in front of my vision. Some of you may have floaters. I used to think that they were bugs and they would kind of freak me out. Then I just have gotten used to them and I don't even really notice them until I pay attention and I can see these little pieces of fiber float in front of my eyes. Um, but this is what I realized that there are things that I miss that I don't see well or correctly because my vision is starting to go. And the problem is un unless I had really good vision before, I wouldn't know that my vision wasn't good. Um, I've heard of people who got glasses because they've always had bad vision and they go like, I didn't know trees had individual leaves. I didn't know things looked the way they did because I had gotten used to not having great vision. Of course, the spiritual application for this is immense. I could run and spend hours talking about how poor vision can affect how we view things and then affect how we respond to things. And there's a, a variety of different kinds of things that cloud our vision or, or um, make our vision not what it needs to be. And when you apply that in the spiritual life, there are things that we can admit to <coughs> that we realize that we can't see things the way they should and we make decisions and we make choices or we allow things to come into our life because we can't see them for what they really are. And what they are are distractions in our life and we don't know it. And then it keeps us from experiencing joy. It keeps us from experiencing the life that we really were created to live. So this Sunday, we're starting a new series. It will be more informal. It will be more teaching. Um, on the book called Undistracted, Capture Your Purpose, Rediscover Your Joy. can't believe I could read that without my glasses. By Bob Goff. 
I don't know if you know who Bob Goff is. We'll have a, a short video Sunday morning. He is one of the most captivating, inspirational people I've ever known. I don't know him personally, um, but I've gotten to see him speak and I've read a couple of his other books. And what he's going to talk about and what we're going to talk about for the month of June is how we can begin to determine what things cloud, um, distort, distract our vision to be able to see things the way they really are to help us define joy um, and, and to experience happiness. Happiness is a good thing. The problem with happiness is good things can bring happiness and bad things can bring happiness. And if we focus only on happiness, then we will miss out on joy. And that's where a lot of us are. We're, we're just jumping from thing to thing to thing to thing to provide happiness. And we, we are supposed to experience happiness, but it's in a deeper way of, of joy. So we're going to be talking about this book um, for the month of June. So we hope you join us for that. Um, things are kind of winding down a little bit for the summer. We won't be having our Promised Land ministry going on, but we will provide opportunities for families throughout the summer and um, kind of like elaborate packets for kids um, who come into worship. But we still will provide care for toddlers. <coughs> um, while Women of Worth are meeting right now, on Thursday morning and then tonight Thursday night um, they're gonna be kind of doing every other Thursday during the summer so just get on our social media to find out what's going on with that man cave will meet Monday night June 5th so join us for that there is a women of worth fellowship coming up on June 10th um, you can sign up in the lobby or just contact the church office for information about that I think that's it. I'm racking my brain. So anyways, um, how well do you see what you need to see? We want to help fit you with a perfect pair of glasses um, to find your purpose and to experience joy. So have a great rest of the week. Have a good weekend. And uh, we will see you Sunday morning. Take care.